This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today I want to talk about relaying Bitcoin Core arbitrary data, and we're definitely going to be talking about non-monetary data today. We're going to be talking about Gloria Zhao, who is the first female Bitcoin Core maintainer, as well as John Newberry, who's one of the co-founders of Brink, which he set up to help fund Bitcoin Core in 2020. And here's a picture of them having some pizza together back in May of 2021. Today's video is a follow-up to this video, which I'll put a link to in the description notes below, in which I talk about Bitcoin Core, nepotism, and commit access. In this video, I discuss my hypothesis that Gloria Zhao was promoted to Bitcoin Core maintainer due to nepotism and her relationship with Don, John Newberry, one of the co-founders of Brink, which I should have mentioned, actually provided Gloria's funding. So there's an interesting conflict of interest here, but I want to rewind and examine Gloria's background a little bit more because I think it shines some light on her approach to Bitcoin. She started in crypto when she was an undergrad at UC Berkeley. She led the blockchain at Berkeley group. And you can actually go online and find some old lectures in which, for example, she's talking about Ethereum when and smart contracts. When we want to decentralize apps and smart contracts um, and kind of make you kind of like a consultant in the blockchain space, you can make informed decisions about when to use a blockchain and when not to. And then if we take a look at her GitHub, we can still see the remains of projects, scammy projects, for example, teaching people how to launch an ICO, an initial coin offering. Here's an example of token sale from Gloria's House GitHub. And here's another example, build your own, your first initial coin offering platform. Now it's important to recognize the context for this. ICOs, initial coin offerings, were these issuances of mostly, I believe they're ERC-20 tokens on Ethereum. All of them were complete scams. So I'm not sure even in a technical course, why this is something you'd want to teach people how to do. There's a severe ethical implications of this. As Seifa Moose talks about here, Ethereum is the mother, uh, the mothership from which the ship coins spring. So this is really one way to think about ICOs and what is involved. I had this idea that maybe Gloria was talking or thinking about Seyfedina Moose in this clip in which she talks about how she first met John Newberry. So I wanted to give that a play. And he's like, oh, you know, it's just like, you know, if I have, there's some Bitcoiners going to the Stanford Washington conference. So if you want to meet them, I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to say no. Like, it's not very often that you get to meet someone who works on Bitcoin Core. But in my head, I'm like imagining these like nutty, like carnivore, narrow minded, redneck, like Bitcoin maximalists who are going to be. It was the thing about being a carnivore that reminded me of safe. But obviously, this is someone who came to Bitcoin initially, and even when she was about to meet John Newberry on the Stanford campus, which she talks about later in this clip, she has this very negative view of Bitcoin maximalists. Here's a, a post from John Newberry from December of 2020, in which he writes, I've been working with Gloria since March. She's enormously talented, has a huge passion for Bitcoin, and is hungry to make big contributions. I couldn't be more excited about her joining Brink. And this is a post from December of 2020. It looks like Gloria was working with John since March, which is around the time, of course, that the pandemic broke out. It's important to recognize that Gloria was only in Bitcoin for a very short period of time, as is highlighted in this video. Um, your first fellow is uh, a, a talented developer out of California, Gloria Zhao. Can you talk about mm -hmm. um, you know, how you found her, what that process was like? Um, is she going to, to London for your fellowship? Kind of like, tell us about Gloria. Gloria is amazing. She's, she's, um, she's got so much talent and so much potential. And I am There's clearly a man in love. That was actually the wrong video. Uh, here's the one I wanted to play in which Gloria betrays really how short of a time she's been in Bitcoin for us. And I think like just jumping right into it, how much better is the user interface and user experience for anybody using Bitcoin than it was a couple of years ago? Yeah, I think, well, I haven't been in Bitcoin for that long, but even to me, I feel like it's really good. It's amazing. Like I have a... So even three years ago, she said she hadn't been in Bitcoin that long. And now she goes on to describe uh, her lack of awareness, really, of even how Bitcoin nodes worked even a few years ago. A Raspberry Pi node that runs Umbrel and... When I got it, I, you know, had looked at Bitcoin Core and, by the way, was very surprised by how easy it was to build on Bitcoin Core. Now, the irony, of course, is thanks to Gloria, it's now almost impossible to run a Bitcoin node or a Bitcoin Core node on some of these early 
Raspberry Pis because beginning with her reign at Bitcoin Core, they blew open the UTXO set here. We can see beginning with the inscriptions exploit in early 2023, this purple blue line is the UTXO set going vertical. And so this is something that if, if someone had been in Bitcoin for a lot longer, they would have been a little bit more worried about this. But this naivete that you can still run it on a Raspberry Pi. So just to go through the timeline here, this again was, uh, I guess they met in March of 2020. She got a scholarship, a fellowship from Brink. Gloria did from John in December of 2020. Here they are having pizza, uh, Bitcoin Pizza Day, May of 2021, presumably London or New York. And then just a few short months later, December 10th, 2021, John posts here, John Newberry posts, I'm stepping away from working on Bitcoin development for some time. I've stepped down as director of Bitcoin Brink and handed the reins over at Bitcoin Optech and Bitcoin Core. PRs. And then the following day, John posted, I'm overwhelmed by the messages of support and kindness. I'll reply to you all individually, but it will take me a while. In the meantime, this has nothing to do with Mesh Collider's departure. This has nothing to do with Craig Wright scammers, con men, or lawsuits. My guess would be it has something to do with Gloria. Here's my hypothesis. And remember, this is only a guess, but I'm going to say that ambitious people like John who are running multiple organizations don't all of a sudden step down, step down from them simultaneously just because. Now, perhaps John had some medical issues at the time. It's certainly possible, but my guess is that this was some sort of professional fallout from his mixing business and pleasure when it came to his relationship with Gloria and Brink. Now, the rest is unfortunately history. Gloria Zhao has been a complete disaster for Bitcoin and for the credibility of Bitcoin Core as an institution itself. Supposedly an expert, a quote unquote expert in mempool policy, Gloria was unable to see the forest for the trees and understand that if, for example, you want more mempool uniformity, the worst way to achieve this is by alienating 20% of the network with a contentious policy change, thus driving them to a different client that has different default mempool settings like Bitcoin Knots does, for example. And not surprisingly, given her past interest in Ethereum, Gloria has allowed NFT garbage like inscriptions to proliferate on Bitcoin, refusing to close the inscriptions exploit while blowing open the Operturn filter in order to help companies like Citria that want to make Bitcoin more like Ethereum as we're seeing here is Citria presenting at an ETH conference. Now, this is what happens when you take someone who's only been in Bitcoin for a few short years and then rapidly promote them to the position of maintainer inside of Bitcoin Core, someone who has right access to the repository. Gloria continues to have right access to the most important software project in the world, and not because of her coding abilities, which I've heard through the grapevine are actually quite mediocre, as you wouldn't be surprised to learn, but simply because of her relationship with someone who apparently used funding dollars to buy a girlfriend. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.